I come from Europe. Actually, I come from Denmark, Northern Europe, but I have moved to Austria, Central Europe, which means I've never been in England. I've never been in America. So do I know a lot about English music? Yes. Do I know who Eminem is? Yes. Do I know who 50 Cent is? Yes, I do. I'm not stupid. Of course, I know them. Of course, I've heard their music, but there is a lot of music I haven't heard. A lot of the old music I haven't heard. If I've heard it, then I was so young that I probably didn't understand it because I didn't understand English that well. So I was thinking because we just reacted to Houdini, Eminem's new song where he brought Slim Shady back. I'm so excited for the album, y'all. I can't wait for this album. Best believe we're going to react to every single song, music video or not. We got to react to it. But I was thinking this is a perfect moment or perfect time to go back and react to Eminem's old song because I've heard that he was crazy. Now I've reacted to a lot of Jamaican music. Tommy Lee Sparta, if you're new on the channel and you don't know him, go check him out because he's crazy. I would like to see who's more crazy. Um, but no, of course I know that the, I know Eminem, I know his story, I know he was a drug addict and got clean, I know about Haley. I know, I know about, I'm, again, I know who Eminem is, I know who Slim Shady is, don't, don't get it twisted, I'm not gonna sit here and lie, but there is a ton of songs that I either didn't understand because I was a kid and I just didn't speak that good English, or I just simply never heard. So today we're reacting to Eminem the way I am dirty version because y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. You know we got to get the dirty version for y'all. So I'm so excited for this. Ladies and gentlemen, go get yourself something to drink. Sit back, relax, and let's react. Eminem the way I am dirty version. Ah. Oh. Got a lot of flashbacks. That Haley. This album is less than I can't sell this fucking record. You're rapping about homosexuals and Vicodin. I can't sell this shit. Either change the record or it's not coming out. This song is for anyone. He said, You're rapping about homosexuals and Vicodin. I can't sell this. That's the labels talking to him, I would assume. I'm pretty sure that was the labels saying, like, bro. This crazy shit that you're talking about, I can't sell this. Like, you gotta, you gotta either come up with something else or take this to somebody else. We can't help you. That's crazy. But, hey, you gotta think about, they, they're in it for the money. And they know, especially, imagine if this was today. This is a long time ago. Like, imagine if it would have been in 2024. There's no way a record label, except for M&M's would push out the stuff that he talked about back in the days. Fuck it. Shut up and listen. Hey yo. I sit back with this pack of zigzags in this bag of this weed. It gives me the shit needed to be the most meanest MC on this, on this earth. And since uh. birth, I've been cursed with this curse to just curse and just blur. Ooh. This berserk and bizarre shit that works and it sells and it helps in itself to relieve all this tension, this bitch and these sentences. And the stress that's been eating me recently off of his chest and I rest again peacefully. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He is talking. He's not even talking, bruh. He is tying you up in a chair and forcing you to listen to him. He said, listen, bro. He said, listen, I have all of this tension and anger and hate inside of me. And this is my way of getting it out. This is my way of getting it out. I write down some lyrics, I get on the microphone, and I spit it for y'all. And he says, it sells, people want to hear it, people be like, they might not agree with it, but they're still like, there is no way he said that, and he's right, Eminem is a genius. But at the same time, he's getting backlash because of the things he's saying. That is crazy. It's been eating me recently off of his chest, and I rest again peacefully. Ah. But at least have the decency in you to leave me alone when you freak see me out in the streets when I'm eating or feeding my daughter to not come and speak to me. Bags. I don't know you and no, I don't owe you a motherfucking thing. I'm not Mr. Instinct. I'm not what your friends think. I'm not Mr. Friendly. I can be a prick if you take me. My tank is on empty. 
Hey, imagine that though. Imagine that. I swear, I have a hair somewhere here. I got long hair under this. Don't don't get it twisted. It looked like I got short hair. I don't. It's just all like curled up or balled up or whatever you would say. That is facts. Imagine that though. Imagine having your baby daughter like you're taking her out to get something to eat. You're sitting there with your girlfriend, girlfriend, and like. People just come up and sit next to you. Like just some stranger. You got to think about. They feel like they know you. But you don't know them. You have no. This is a stranger. And they just sit next to you. They're like. Hey can you. Can I get a picture. Can you sign an autograph for me. Can you. It's like dude. I'm eating with my daughter man. That's crap bro. I would have smacked this shit. Bro. He can't even do that. Because he's famous. It's going to. Like it's going to. Be a bad look for him. <laughs> Man, bro, that must be so tough. I'm not even gonna lie. No patience is in me. And if you offend me, I'm lifting you ten feet. Oh, you standing at a build or by building? On a building. Okay. I love that hook. He's literally addressing the fact that, listen, whatever, like, there are so many people with so many opinions on Eminem or Slim Shady, as this was, like... They have all these opinions. You got the media, radio, newspaper, all of it. Strangers, like just random people, fans, haters. Everybody like makes their own opinion on him. And they start talking about, hey, this is how Eminem is. And he's like, hey, I, I, am, the, I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would they say that I am? And then he also said the radio and stuff won't even play his jam. They won't even play his stuff. He is talking crazy though. Like I, I somehow like I low low key get it with some of the songs. But I also see that it's like it must be tough. It's a tough world. The industry is tough. Sometimes I just feel like my father. I hate to be bothered. With all of this nonsense, it's constant. And oh, it's just lyrical content. The song you'll be conscious of such That scared. The shit out of me though Who is that dude behind it's it's it. Oh, it's just You saw that I swear there's just like Some dude walking behind him That is scary bro I am I don't know this is the way I am Sometimes I just feel like my, my father. father I hate to be bothered With all of this nonsense It's constant and oh It's just lyrical content The song <laughs> you'll be conscious Has gotten such rotten responses And all of this controversy yeah. Circles me and it seems like the media immediately points a finger at me, at yeah. me. So I point one back at him But not the index of Pinky or the But not the Oh is he is he continuing? He's gonna go to the he's gonna go to the middle finger. At me, at me. So I point one back at him but not the index of Pinky, oh, Pinky. or the ring or the thumb It's the one you put up when you don't give a fuck ah. you don't just put up with the bullshit they pull Cause they full of shit too getting bullied and shoots up the school and they blame it on Maryland. Maryland. And the heroin, where would... Man, he looks extremely creepy. I feel like I've seen him before, though. Boy, he looks creepy. Who is he? I feel like I've seen him before. He makes music, too, right? Some of y'all let me know. So I know y'all be sitting there screaming at the screen right now. My excuse is I'm not American. That's only going to take me so far. I bet you there is European people watching this as well being like, boy, this dude. I don't, I, I, I know I've seen this dude before, but let me know who is this. Shoots up the school and they blame it on Maryland. And the oh. heroin, where were the parents at? And look where it's at, middle America. Now it's a tragedy. Now it's so sad to see an upper class city having this happiness. Ah. An attack in the name because I rap this way. Yeah. But I'm glad because they feed me the fuel that I need for the fire to burn. And it's burning and I get returned. And I Woo. am whatever you 
say I am If I wasn't, then why would I say I am In the paper, the news, every day I am Yeah Radio won't even play my jam Cause, Cause I, I am, am Whatever you say I am If I wasn't, then why would I say I am In the paper, the news, every day I am uh. I know it's just the way I am I'm so sick and tired of being admired That I wish that I would just die You'll get fired and drop from my label Let's stop with the fables I'm not gonna be able oh. to top of my name is Hold in to some poppy sensation that caught me rotation at rock and roll stations, and I just do not got the patience uh -huh. to deal with these cocky Caucasians who think I'm some wigger who just tries to be black. Cause I talk with an accent and grab on my ball, so they always keep asking the same fucking question. This is actually extremely funny that he brought this up. It does not surprise me one bit that Eminem has, has gotten like um, backlash for this. Actually, so have I. Now, I don't know. It makes sense to me if I do, but I don't do it on purpose. See, so as I've said a trillion times in this video, I'm not, I'm not from an English-speaking country. I'm from Denmark. And now I live in Austria. They speak German. We speak Danish. We don't speak English. Well, a lot of people in Denmark speak English, but not, not as a native language. So the way I was introduced to, to the English language was... There was more things, obviously, like school and stuff, but but I was really introduced through two things. GTA San Andreas. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and hip-hop music. Hip-hop music. Hip-hop is black music. It comes from, like, it's, it's black culture or whatever, how you would put it. Like, it is, it is something created in the black culture. If that makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say at least. So with me really learning how to speak English through these two things. Y'all know GTA San Andreas. Y'all know GTA San Andreas. We didn't have Danish subtitles or anything. We're just not that big of a country. So like you can get German subtitles. But I didn't understand German. So I would have to just listen to it in English and read it. And I was forced to understand it or learn it at least. So I did. But now the way I talk is with is with like a black accent. I don't know if this is true, but it wouldn't surprise me. And a lot of people are like, why are you trying to be black? I'm not trying to be black. I'm not trying to be anything but me. But this is how I learned the the, the language. This is this is how I learned how to speak. Also, a lot of the comedy stuff I'm watching are black comedians. Not that I don't mess with white comedians. I have nothing against white comedians. I also have nothing against white music at all. Don't, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying, hey, I'm not proud to be white. I'm not none of that. No, no, no. I have nothing against being white. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But I did grow up around a lot of black people listening to a lot of black music playing gta san andreas and also listening to a lot of black humor humor because i just really find it funny i really find it funny so now i just speak the way i speak because that's how i was taught the language so it's really not because i'm trying to be anything but but that's just how it is and yeah that took me way longer than it than it should than it should have but yeah, Eminem like brought it up and he's a rapper, you know, and he's a rapper from like, when did, when did he break out? Late nineties, early two thousands. Like I could imagine that's not easy as a white kid. Do you get me? Let me know if I'm just waffling in the comments, man. Like, man, bro, if, if you don't get me, fight me. <laughs> Still with these cocky Caucasians who think I'm some wigger who just tries, tries to, to be black. black. Cause I talk with an accent and grab on my ball, so they always keep asking the same fucking questions. Fucking questions. Ah. What school did I go to? What hood I grew up in? The why, the who, what, when, the where, and the how? So Ooh. I'm grabbing my hair and I'm tearing it out. You say driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. I can't take it. I'm racing. I'm pacing. I stand and I sit and I'm thankful for every fan that I get. But Thanks. I can't take a shit in the back.
The radio won't even play my jam. Cause I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? Why? In the paper, the news, every day I am. I don't know, it's just the way I am. Man, bro, that must be so crazy. Having strangers just... Uh, I don't trust you like that, bro. Did the, did the ground just bounce? Oh, he didn't, he didn't die, huh? Thank God, we can't lose Eminem. Man, what a what a song. What a song. Old Eminem can't be defeated, man. Hey, I know there's a ton of his old music that I haven't heard. So if you have any suggestions, if you have any like songs you would like me to react to, put it in the comments. Let's react to it. I would love to listen to some more. This dude is a legend, man. I cannot wait for the album, y'all. I can't wait. I literally cannot wait. But thank you so much for watching, man. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I know you could have been doing a thousand things, but you decided to come here and chill with me. Thank you, bro. Have a wonderful day, man. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. Put up, I don't hang with rats. That's some new type shit. Get a nigga.